I'm actually a director of sound and motion in Bow Idea Studio. So we do a lot of digital campaigns and uh, a lot of design work. Uh, apart from my, my day job, I love music. So I also took part in a lot of other events where I perform music. Uh. The interesting thing about what technology gives musicians is that these days, with all the software instruments, they call it MIDI controller, um, musician has more access to uh, more, like, like the artist, you know, the, the, the palette, the colours, you've got more things to do with technology. You don't need a bigger team like before, like for example, in the past when they make film scores, you fill up the whole, you know, you have the whole orchestra for the film, it's very costly. These days, people can lay the tracks at home with software instruments and then when the score is approved, then they get the orchestra to come and play live. So technology actually helped a lot for that. Yes, definitely. I think it, it won't, both have to work together because in, in a way, technology helps art, but then the end of the day, the content is still king. The creator, the person who come up with things, uh, you still need uh, the, the, the creative mind. For the theremin, I, I actually perform together with different musicians from um, different genres. I ever, ever perform live with a sitar player, a Chinese percussionist and a violinist, and we play improvise. It's like conversation. We play music live without um, without any practice. We do everything live. So uh, for 20 minutes, everything was improvisation. I always very fascinated by the uh, sci-fi genre in the 50s and the 60s. You always hear those weird sound coming from. Uh, horror films and science fiction movies. Yeah, so that's how I discovered that those sounds were made by the first electronic instrument, which is the theremin. So from, uh, no, just during uh, student's time when I was, oh yeah. So, so the theremin actually was the first electronic instrument. From there, it developed to the current synthesizer and all the other. For now, I have a lot of collaboration online with musicians all over the world. So we each provide each a, a track and then we just upload and then somebody will put it together. And, uh, SoundCloud and also some uh, online, there's a website called iCompositions where I actually have an online band with a group of people from, yeah. Yes, do join us uh, at the campus party in July because this is where people with all, all walks of life coming together to make things happen.